नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर सुनिंदर सिंह अरोरा हूँ वर्किंग इन द प्रेस्टिजियस बत्रा हॉस्पिटल सिंस 1989 एंड करेंटली होल्ड द पोस्ट ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंटरनल मेडिसिन रेस्पिरेटरी स्लीप एंड क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन आई एम ऑल्सो द फाउंडर मेंबर ऑफ द इंडियन स्लीप डिसऑर्डर एसोसिएशन Batra Hospital was the first hospital in the city of Delhi to start the services of the sleep lab since 1996. God made a very beautiful body with two tubes, the wind pipe and the foot pipe. Thereby getting oxygen from the wind and glucose from the food that we eat. This everybody understands. Food habits are intermittent whereas breathing is a continuous process. just as our heart beats continuously without our control but when the breathing gets stopped and starts and especially in the night it leads to a disorder called the sleep disordered breathing also known as the obstructive sleep apnea obstructive sleep apnea is a disorder that caused by the relaxation of the neck muscles more than it is required causing blockage of the flow into the lungs from the air and leading to asphyxia that means low oxygen levels of the body it's like getting strangulated and then the body gets a signal to the brain and the heart and the lungs to reopen its breathing with a snore and it the choking opens up so the commonest symptom of obstructive sleep apnea that we find is a fragmented sleep people are unable to sleep comfortably in the night they choke they get up with a start they snore heavily the wife or the husband will tell us that they can't sleep because their partner is snoring they get up in the morning with a headache they have a very groggy morning they cannot concentrate on their work and they can also have decreased sexual libido so all these symptoms are so subtle that they get surpassed as chronic fatigue until and unless the oxygen that desaturates during the night brings maximum symptoms in the body and they occur with a daytime somnolence meaning thereby that you start sleeping in the day and you cannot keep yourself awake people have had accidents both while driving or in the industry with grave complications so the cause and the etiology of this disorder is well known but why does it happen it happens because there is a huge muscle mass around the neck which then relaxes to an extent which makes the airway floppy that means it cannot maintain its diameter while sleeping in the night to let the air flow into the lungs and because of this closure of stopping and opening of the lungs this disease brings these effects so to diagnose this disease one must undergo a sleep study which is called a polysomnography which is divided into two components of a diagnostic sleep study and then th- the treatment part the treatment part includes a very simple mechanism whereby an air compressor is attached with a tube to the mask on the face with straps and one can breathe comfortably which makes the airway open all through the night and maintain the oxygen saturations so if you have any of these symptoms or if you are obese or you have hyperthyroid or you have a cardiac disease or you have hypertension or you have diabetes or you have any other complication which defies a diagnosis the root cause is obstructive sleep apnea now that it has become so evident in the country with almost 4% of the population getting affected by obstructive sleep apnea it is important that we recognize these diseases and then treat accordingly once we start using these non invasive uh, positive airway pressure machines the physiology reverts back to normal and people get back to health thank you very much namaste